it's surprising that many patients who come to my practice are not aware that their recurrent pregnancy loss can actually be due to a male factor. The assumption is made incorrectly that if they were able to conceive that there was probably not a contribution from the sperm and the loss. Well, again, this couldn't be farther from the truth. And in fact, there are a significant number of patients who fail to conceive or have recurrent miscarriage, and the only factor comes from the male. Well, this can be broken down into two issues. The first is to look at the sperm and to go over the semen analysis very carefully. I have a lot of patients who come to the practice who were told that their semen analysis was normal, but when I get the report and I look at it, I find subtleties that were missed by the uh, initial evaluators. Probably the most common thing that gets missed is the morphology or the shape of the sperm, because even when mildly abnormal, it can lead to significant issues, uh, inability for the sperm to penetrate the egg, um, oxidative damage to the head of the sperm, uh, which affects its motility, mobility, and the ability, again, to penetrate the egg, or fragmentation in the DNA that's actually in the head of the sperm. And when an abnormal or fragmented DNA gets injected into the egg, this embryo that's developed may not develop properly, and again, can lead to failure to conceive at all, or lead to early recurrent miscarriages. We can actually do a test to measure the amount of DNA fragmentation contained in the semen analysis. And when those levels are significant, these are areas that we can treat and significantly reduce the likelihood that this patient is going to suffer recurrent pregnancy loss uh, or at least significantly improve the chances that she'll conceive naturally. Not every one of these conditions are treatable, but certainly when we find inflammatory components uh, or we find infectious components, we have great success in these treatments. The second area, which uh, is fairly new, is the process of evaluating the seminal fluid for chemicals that are imperative for the generation of tolerance of paternal genes by the mother's immune system. And in fact, when men have very low levels of these chemicals in the seminal fluid, it's one of the reasons that we see early repetitive recurrent pregnancy loss, and we're actually able to supply uh, these chemicals uh, vaginally and try and increase the likelihood that the genetics contained on the sperm will be uh, carefully evaluated by the maternal immune system and accepted. So when the embryo finally arrives to the uterine lining, the mother's immune system is already prepared for acceptance. So it's very important when patients come to our practice that the male factor gets a complete analysis, which we do here at my practice, and many times treatment of the male will decrease the chances of recurrent pregnancy loss or failure to conceive.